If you remember what you did last week, you took 200 microliters uh, from your water sample and you added it to 1.8 mil of uh, sterile water, mixed it, that's your 1 in 10 dilution. You did the same thing again, 200 microliters from that dilution uh, into 1.8 mil, that's your 1 in 100 dilution, and you did that four times. And then you plated 100 microliters from each of your dilutions um, in an agar plate. This week you're going to count how many colonies you can see in each of those agar plates. So here's my results table and you can see that I've written the dilutions in two different ways. Both uh, as we tend as microbiologists to write them, 10 to the minus 1, 10 to the minus 2. Uh, but also as a fraction. So the 10 to the minus dilution, sorry, the 10 to the minus 1 dilution is a 1 in 10 dilution, the 10 to the minus 2 dilution is a 1 in 100 dilution, and so on. So you need to choose a plate with between 20 and 200 colonies. If you try to count more than about 200 colonies, then you don't tend to be very accurate. So you can see that I have managed to count 35 colonies on my 10 to the minus 3 plate. But on my 10 to the minus 2 plate, I've just written plus, 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 indicating that there's a lot of growth there. So if we multiply the count by the dilution, that'll tell us how many there were in the original 100 microliter sample. So 35 times our dilution, 1,000, equals 35,000 and we can write that uh, more neatly as 3.5 times 10 to the 4 in our 100 microliter sample. But we want to know how many um, bacteria there were in 1 mil, that's how we normally express it. And because we've plated out 100 microliters, which is a tenth of a mil, we need to multiply by 10. So 3.5 times 10 to the 4 multiplied by 10 is 3.5 times 10 to the 5. So we have 3.5 times 10 to the 5 colonies from a 1 mil sample. So what we're saying is that um, 3.5 times 10 to the 5 of the bacteria that were in the original sample have been able to form colonies. What we don't know is if there were other bacteria in there which just weren't, for example, able to grow in the medium and conditions that we provided. So instead of saying 3.5 times 10 to the 5 bacteria per mil, we say 3.5 times 10 to the 5 colony forming units per mil.